If you wanted to, you could look at an LDL particle, a low density lipoprotein, as a cruise ship. Now, if I were to talk to you about a cruise ship, forget we're even talking about cholesterol, and I were to say, what's the primary purpose of a cruise ship? What would you say it is? Yes, it's to bring passengers someplace yes. in, a, in a comfortable way. Yeah, exactly. Passengers are getting on and off the cruise ship all the time. You'd say that's their primary cargo, wouldn't you? So, yeah, I would say triglycerides in this example would be the passengers. So, what would you say the cholesterol would be in this example? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe it's the lifeboats. I don't know. That's exactly right. Because they're so prominent there. That's exactly right. <laughs> it's the life rafts. Because, again, thinking like an engineer, remember, the triglycerides are constantly, constantly getting loaded up and offloaded. Is the cholesterol constantly getting offloaded? Actually, the cholesterol keeps mostly making its way back to the liver to have lots of different other fates, such as becoming hormones, bile salts, etc. So from a systemic standpoint, the whole engine that's running our lipid system, it anticipates that those are going to be there, which is why I like to describe it as low-density lipoproteins have a big bag of energy and a small bag of medicine. They usually use the energy. They don't always use the medicine. And per what you were talking about, yes, cholesterol ends up having a reparative role. And I want to get into all the different ones, but I'm sure you probably have lots of articles on your site about it. They also have many other things that are contained within the uh, low-density lipoprotein that help out the cells as well. But without question, you could put me on a panel to debate it with some other lipidologists and I'll win in a few minutes. Without question, it is an energy distribution system first and every person on a low-carb, high-fat diet should know that. Mm -hmm.